Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you today with another home um, revamp and Dollar Tree DIY. This is actually a wall art that I created with using some items from the Dollar Tree as well as some items I already had in my home. And you guys, I'm sorry for my voice. I've been under the weather and I'm trying to get over things and my voice is just not back yet, so I apologize. But anyway, you'll start with the foam board and I use some spray adhesive and I'm also using some tissue paper and I want to have a textured look. So I'm just placing the tissue paper onto the foam whiteboard and I want to leave it kind of wrinkled so I balled up some pieces and I want to have that textured look and I do realize that you can also create a textured look with just using paint alone but I knew I didn't have a whole lot of paint to work with so I just went ahead and used the tissue paper and I'm just spraying some um, spray adhesive on the board and onto the tissue paper and I do want to leave a lot of the wrinkles and texture in the paper itself. So I'm just using some gloves to um, smooth out the paper. Like I said, I don't want to smooth it out completely. I do want to leave it textured with some of the wrinkles in the paper. So I just picked up a pair of gloves and I'm just going to smooth out the glue just so the paper can stick to the board itself. But I do want to leave some of the creases and texture in the paper itself. And I am using the whole, um, I'm using two full sheets of the tissue paper. I'm not gonna cut any off, I'm just gonna gather it all together. So you also wanna use an extra foam board um, to glue your piece down. I didn't glue it down in the beginning because I actually wanted to put this in a frame, but I could not find a frame that was in the price range that I wanted to spend on this project. So I, um, eventually glued the two foam boards together. So I'm using some of the white paint and you can get this paint from um, Walmart. It's like 50 cents um, for that small container. And I'm just going over it with some white paint and using my foam brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just painting over the white tissue paper because that glue, it says it's dry, it's clear, but it really doesn't. It leaves like a yellowish um, stain so I wanted to paint over this anyway, but um, you just wanna paint over the paper and I'm just using white and I'm just going over all of the paper and any paper that did not get it here with the glue, I'm using the paint as a sticking, um, as a way to adhere the paper down to the board itself with the paint. So I'm keeping all of these creases and wrinkles and everything because I want to have that texture. And like I said, I do realize you can create texture with paint, but considering I only had this small bottle, I did not want to run out of paint. So I'm just going over the whole board using, I'm sorry, just going over the portion with the tissue. And I did extend the paint out a little bit past the tissue as well to create this look. So while the paint was still wet, I sprinkled just a little bit of um, glitter on top of the paper portion of the foam board. Um, just a little, just wanted to have a little bit of sparkle within the white portion. So next I went in with the blue paint um, and I'm just gonna go in the middle section here. There's no particular design that I was trying to create, I just, wanted to have some blue, white, and the glitter combination together because those are the colors that I'm going for in my home. So I'm just going over this with the blue and just doing some light strokes back and forth throughout the board, just kind of blending in the blue and the white with the tissue paper and the white paint, just kind of blending those two together. So next I'll take the Mod Podge and I'll go over the top portion of the foam board and I'm just gonna go over all of this and I'm gonna go in with some glitter and sprinkle it all over. And I also sprinkled a little bit of glitter throughout the blue portion as well. And once you get it all glittered, you just wanna shake off any excess. You can go in with a spray, it, uh, a spray sealant. If you don't want this glitter to um, get all over the place, you can use some kind of sealant to seal it all together. And I also, like I said, I wanted to frame this, but it, since I didn't find a frame in the price range that I wanted to spend, I used some of the paper that I already had here at home, 
and I just created like a border around the poster board. And I also got these from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going over these, um, going over the, the trim that I place around the edges. I'm just gonna go all around it with this blue, uh, I think they're called auto calents or something like that. I don't have the package in front of me anymore, but um, I picked those up from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just cutting those up into individual little um, beads. They already have the adhesive on them. You can use the hot glue. I would recommend using the hot glue because these may not stick as well. But for the purpose of making this video, I did not use the hot glue. I just went ahead and just used the adhesive that already came on these and I just kind of randomly stuck them on the white portion. So on to the next project. Um, these are some picture frames that I had in my home um, previously. So I just wanted to revamp those. So I started by taking the back off and I'm gonna leave the portion, I'm gonna leave the part where you hang it on the wall. I basically just took the little uh, staples out and actually you can, I could have just ripped this part off cause I'm not gonna reuse this paper on the back. So, but I took the staples out and I went outside and I spray painted them and this is how it looks. I did use the Rust-Oleum, um, I'm lying about the paint. I, I don't know exactly, but I'll put it in, in the description. But um, I went out there and I spray painted them and now I'm just taking some of the same paints that I used on the previous project and I'm just painting the center portion and just using those same colors and just painting the center portion to um, create more of an art look to tie the whole piece in together. And I mixed in the white um, with the blue as well. And now I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm just going over um, the tops and the bottom, the top and the bottom with the Mod Podge and I'm gonna sprinkle the glitter so I can create that same kind of look as um, the picture. So I'll just sprinkle some glitter on here and just on the top, well, you can do it from side to side or from top to bottom. Since they're gonna be going long ways, I'm doing top and bottom. So I'm just shaking off any excess glitter and I'm also trying to shake it down to the middle section so some glitter can fall in that section as well. And then I'm gonna take some of the, some rhinestones that I, um, some jewels that I got from, I think I got those from Michaels a while back. But I'm just taking these and I'm just gonna randomly, randomly glue them down to the center portion of this piece. And there's no, any particular design, just randomly placing them. So once all of that's complete, um, once I hot glue down all of those pieces, this is the final look, you guys. So this is the final look with all of the pieces together. I um, just put those on a wall together to show you guys the art pieces together. I wanted to tie those pieces together. And like you guys know, these are the colors that I'm going for in my home. So that's why you see all the things I create in these same shades. So that's it, you guys. And again, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And again, I apologize for my voice, you guys. I'm trying to get better. I'm still not actually 100%, but I'm doing the best I can for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.